Also using the Revolve tool. So we're going to be having a look at making this component here today. So we've got our two orthographic views here um, with the dimensions on. There should be enough dimensions across these views to be able to help us in terms of being able to create this component. Um, if you are new to, to the channel before and you uh, haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and um, uh, you'll be able to get access to all the free solid uh, work support and content that uh, we do here on Guide to SolidWorks. So, um, let's dive into this activity and we will get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by selecting a plane to model on. I'm going to start off with the right plane here and I'm going to sketch straight onto that plane, like so. Um, uh, now, to create this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a center line. And I'm just going to draw that on there, run across. Uh, what this allows me to do is to revolve a part of this model. Uh, so the back section of the model, I'm going to revolve that and then I'm going to pattern the front section of the model. Uh, so I'm just going to set a distance to this. Now this is uh, going to come back 13 um, millimeters from uh, this front section. And I am going to uh, just draw out or sketch out the pattern that I want to create here. Like so. Okay, now you see at the moment it's not accurate, it's just a rough sketch. But I can start to create some uh, relationships to this. So I've made that width, uh, this end bit, a vertical in a line at the end. So I know that the width there is 13. Um, I want that and that to be a distance. Now, if I check my model, I know that's 20. So if I could do that one side, if I do that one side of my center line, um, I could make sure, I could put in a 10 millimeter gap, or if I just bring it to the other side, it will allow me to show the whole distance for the mirror image across. So I'm going to set that to uh, 20, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to put some distances in here from again from the center position. Uh, from the top to this top point here is going to be uh, 34. Sorry, 40. From here, across here, that one's going to be 34. We'll meet those up in a second. Let's meet in those dimensions up so we can see them a little bit better. And this top one up to the top edge here is going to be 62. Like so. so that gives us our heights. We just need to know our distances across. So from here, across this line here, I'm going to get a distance of um, 2 mil. Now from this end point to this inside line here, I'm going to have a distance of 5 mil. And that gives me that shape. So I've now got a fully defined shape. All my lines are now black. Um, so I know it's fully defined and I've got enough dimensions on there to show that it is defined. Um, if I want to just make sure that I can see all these, I can just move them around so that I know it's clear. From there, I'm going to revolve this. So if I go to Features and I go to Revolve here, yeah, that will automatically show me a preview um, uh, because I'm in the sketch. And it's automatically selecting this line one, this center line here, as the line to revolve around. If that wasn't selected, just click on the line there and it would select that as the revolve point. Now I'm going 360 degrees all the way around, so I'm happy with that shape. So I'm just going to tick there and that will give me that revolve uh, for that back section like so. Okay, so now I've got that back section, what I want to now do is the bits that are going to come out of the front and stick about the front. So I'm going to go to a front view here so I can see this straight on, um, so that I'm normal to the actual image. I'm going to click on this front plane face and I'm going to sketch on there. First thing I'm going to do is draw a center line from my origin straight up to the top here of uh, this circular shape. This outer diameter. 
Then from there, I'm going to offset these, um, this center line. So I'm going to click on that. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a bi-directional offset. So I want it to come out 10 mil one way and 10 mil the other. So I've got 20 mil down. So if I come down this side here, I've got bi-directional go both ways, and it will do that for me. Let me just take that. Okay, I'm going to use this center line again. I'm going to do another offset. But rather than it being out 20 this time, I want to come out 10 down, so five each way. So if I just turn that 10 to five, and that gives me uh, that secondary um, section there. And I can take that like so. Okay. Now, I'm just going to use these, these four lines here that I've created to create my feature, my extrusion. Um, so, to create that extrusion, I'm going to go to Features and Extrude. Now, it's going to throw up all these issues at the moment because it's not happy with what's going on. So, I'm going to come down to Select Contours and I'm actually going to select what I want to extrude. I want to extrude that and I want to extrude that. Okay. And I want to extrude them by, um, my overall model size is 32. So if I want 32, and I know that revolve distance is 13, so minus 13, and it will give me a value of 19 for my extrude there. Okay. Turn that thin feature off, so there we go. So as we turn that thin feature off, and we collect our two regions, it will allow us to uh, extrude that. Now, We've got these two um, example extrudes here sticking out. So if I tick here, it's OK, and it'll give me them as the distances that I want to come out, which was that uh, 19 mil no, extra coming out. Now, I want three of these sets around the outside. So let's, what we'll do is we'll use a circular array or circular pattern to be able to do that. So my circular pattern tool is in the features here, so I'm going to features. Click, go down to circular pattern. Now it wants me to use a, a feature to pattern, to pattern, and that's already picked this one because we've already had it highlighted, so it's selected that to extrude. Now it just wants a direction here, so I want to pattern it around this circular shape here, so I'm just going to click there. Now it's already coming up with three uh, here. Now if it only came up with two, we'd get that. We want it three. Um, now there's different types of spaces we can have. We can have instance spacing, where there will be a set of distance apart, which is in this terms 15 degrees, or we can have equally spaced. Now in this, in this model, they are equally spaced around uh, this circle. So we're going to use the equal spacing one. Okay. Once I've got them in, and I've got my preview how I want to see it, I'm just going to tick there, like so, and we have them three um, sections in place now. Now in our drawing, we'll notice that this section in here is rounded, so I'm going to use the fillet tool. And it's rounded to 10 mil, so I'm going to just make sure 10 mil is highlighted, which it is. Uh, and I'm just going to select these edges here, like so. Which will round that off, giving it a nice smooth profile around that outside. Okay, then I'm left with a cut through um, in this bottom section. However, the cut through is not exactly straight down. It's in an offset position. Um, now we've got them in three places. We've got one here, we've got one up here, and one over here. Okay, it's the one over here that we're given the size for. And the size that we're given for that, in terms of its offset, is 15 degrees from the horizontal. So again, if I go onto this from play, so we've got it straight on our normal to our drawing. And I'm going to sketch on here. I can draw a center line from my origin going across horizontally, like so. Then I'm going to draw a second center line coming out in this direction. I'm just going to drop it there. I'm not going to give it a finished position. The reason for that is I'm going to set the distance of this the distance out that I want my uh, hole that I'm going to create. And the distance out is a 25 radius. So if I click on there, and I set that to 25, and I have the length of that line. I want to know the angle offset from the horizontal. So again, using my dimension tool, click on the horizontal, click on that line, and I'll be able to get the angle offset. And this time it's going to be 15, like 
like so. So if I know now exactly, if I put the center of my circle on this point, <coughs> excuse me, it is in exactly the right position that I want it. So I'm just going to get a circle, drop that on there, and in fact I'm going to need two of them, so I'm just going to drop two of them on there. Like so. Once I've put them on, I can set the size for them using the dimension tool. Um, the inside one is going to be 5.5. And the outside one is going to be um, 9.5. Okay, so we've got that on there. Now we're given some information. Um, one goes 3 million, which is on 9.5, and the other one goes all the way through. So I'm going to go features, I'm going to go to put. I'm going to select this inside area first. And I'm just going to make sure that on my options for my um, end condition, I'm just going to go through all. So I know that it's going through that model and tick there like so. Okay. I'm going to use the same sketch again, which means I'm going to have to drop down this little arrow next to my cut extrude, click on the sketch. And this time I'm going to use this inside, so this outside circle, shall I say. And I'm going to cut again that circle. Just going to click that outside shape, make sure I've got it selected in the contours. And this time I am going to go down just 3 mil. Okay, so you can see the preview there, just going down 3 mil and tick it. And we've got that cut out like so. Okay, I want to pattern them, so I want them in three equal positions around the outside of here. So I'm going to highlight both of them cuts in my design tree at the side. And then I'm going to go to circular pattern again. And I'm going to use this inside edge to help me do my circular pattern again. And you'll see now on my preview, I've got one there, one here, and one here. Equally spaced around the outside of the shape, exactly where I want them. And this is the trick to this one, is they shouldn't be at 45 degrees, i.e. the center of these two here. They should be equally spaced around about 15 degrees from um, at the offside of the side. Or from the, um, so, uh, 50, this one will be 15 degrees from the vertical, this one will be 15 degrees from the horizontal, and um, 15 degrees from the vertical, so on and so on. Okay, so you, sh you should be equally spaced around. Now we've got them three there, so um, what we can do now is just take to say that I'm happy with that preview. And we get our fully finished model, like so. Uh, we could then apply material if we wanted to, and uh, that would be nicely completed. Uh, so that is how we go around creating that revolve and circular pattern component. Um, have a go at doing it yourselves. Put any comments in. Um, let's see how you get on. Or if you've had a go at anything like this before and you've struggled with it, let us have a. Uh, sorry. Uh, let, let us um, know, but there is one thing I've just missed from this, I've just realised. Uh, we've missed off uh, a chamfer on the end of here, so let's just put that chamfer in. Uh, the chamfer is set at uh, 3mm at 45 degrees, so therefore let's turn that to 3mm. And I'm just going to uh, do all the ends on here. There we go. So, so now we are finished. Um, uh, and that's that finished. So have a little go. Uh, let us know how you got on. If you have any comments or anything you'd like to start to look at, just give us a bit. put a comment on, and I will get back to you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like, if you like the content, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.